because we may not pr produce enough, and that's something that can just occur just because you're Nicole and you're, you're Lorenza, and that's just who you are and that's your body makeup. So it's really key, as I mentioned, that you chew the food properly and then the, the stomach acid is there to help break it down. Um, once it goes from the stomach uh, acid, then it needs to be sent into the intestines. In the intestines, the body makes its own digestive enzymes. That's another thing that we become depleted in as we age and as we mature. So it's important to recognize, gee, do I need digestive enzymes? Is that something that's not happening? Um, and uh, that's something that can be supplemented a little bit um, later in life as need be. Um, now, inside that membrane that I mentioned to you, are 90% of microbes, and that's the bacteria, really good bacteria that keeps everything moving and happening within the gut. It allows you to absorb and assimilate all those nutrients that we take in through our foods. It, um, it, it, it empowers our immune system. 80% of our immune system sits in our gut, which I think is such a powerful message. I had no idea that until I started to study. I was like, wow, so everything is sitting right here. Even though I might have a head cold or I might have the flu or I'm sick all the time, there's actually a source of where this could be coming from. So, um, so we have this bacteria that says this good bacteria and we hope it stays that way. If not, it creates a host of issues. And, um, but within that lining too, I just want to share with you that there's a mucosal lining. And that mucosal lining is something called secretory IgA and that is that immune system that I was just telling you about. It's the main antibody that fights all invaders. So if we have, um, we've eaten some food that's been sitting out and it has some bacteria on it and we take it in, if we have enough good bacteria in there, it's gonna it knock it down and it's not gonna create an issue. But if over time we've been taking medications, we've been vaccinated, for some kids that can be an issue at a young age if they've received lots of vaccinations. Um, any food sensitivities that we have, we don't even know that we're taking in because um, it's an internal stress when you, you're eating something every single day that you had no idea was actually kind of irritating your system. So um, a lot of those things can actually start to break down that good flora, that good bacteria that we have in the gut. It can affect the, uh, the secretory IgA, as I was mentioning to you as well. Does that make sense so far? I want to make sure that I'm fluid and that I'm okay, because I'm kind of uh, nervous. <laughs> so. Um, Okay, so, so in 